Hello, my name's Malcolm Rust. I'm one of the partners in the Private Wealth and Tax team at Shepherd and Wedderburn. I'd like to talk to you about powers of attorney. Now, I'm sure everybody has heard of a power of attorney and understands the theory behind granting one. You may even have used a power of attorney yourselves and understand the effectiveness of such an authority. Life is full of uncertainties and risks. We take out insurance for our houses, for contents, for our lives, but we often forget the impact of losing capacity in terms of our business affairs or making welfare decisions, such burden falling upon our loved ones. We would like to lift that burden, and that is where a power of attorney comes in. It is a form of insurance. It stands to reason someone that you trust, usually your spouse or partner, or another close family member. And often in a family situation, you may appoint adult children as fallback attorneys. For those who do not have close family, it is a harder decision to make. In those circumstances, a close friend might operate as welfare attorney, and in relation to financial decision making, the individual might consider appointing a professional advisor. As I say to clients, no time like the present. It used to be the case that putting in place a power of attorney was something which only the older clients would do. However, thankfully, that position has now changed. And as part of your legal health check, I see it as the duty of the professional advisor to raise the question of a power of attorney at the same time as discussing your will. If you'd like to learn more about powers of attorney, please contact one of the members of the Private Wealth and Tax team at Shepherd and Wedderburn.